we good? We're good. We're good. I didn't good see morning. a green light. I didn't want to get yelled at again. <laughs> good morning, everybody. This is the Cigar Show. Good morning. Episode 11. 11. That's where you get a one and a one. You put them side by side, right? 11. Or as I said to Faith, don't say that she did not know what that meant. No. So not know. another Spanish lesson. Oh, All right, right, geez. Geez. <laughs> <I don't. laughs> anyway, I am Randy Rankin, as always, because I've always been myself. And this, of course, is the lovely Faith Cox, Hello. lovely Tony Gomez with the weird messed up bill on his cap. Where's your ball cap? <laughs> I didn't get the memo, apparently. You didn't get the I memo? Well, I've been, this is ball cap day. I've been sporting this this lately, you know? Uh, this is kind of like a, this is kind of like a, a, I've been kind of paying homage to my homeboy, Edgar Hoyle. You know what I mean? He doesn't wear it like this. Say, but, don't, you know, don't embarrass that. But right. he's he's Sorry. my home he's my homeboy. So when I throw down the cholo look, you know what I mean. He's I, I throw it this way. Edgar does the flat brim. You know he throws down the the Mexican hustler hat. You okay, know. we're gonna have a we're gonna have hat talk one day because oh brother, I wear oh. the traditional brim the way it's supposed to be. There you or go. We'll have the, we'll have that conversation right. later. Okay, and then maybe get a female perspective. So show up with but, your, uh, show up with your Make America hats. Great Again hat, you know, and, and you know, that'll just really, really. Hey, okay. it's ruined Liam Neeson's career by saying stupid stuff. We're not going to wear Make America Great hats because that'll ruin our show. But anyway, I'll fight. We are back. <laughs> we are back. We missed last week. Yeah, we apologize. We Last minute circumstances, but we are back, and we hope that uh, you guys missed us so much that you'll have to watch this one twice. <clears throat> That's kind of what yeah. I think. So anyway, we were discussing, uh, this was a very big weekend here at Calypso Cigar Shop and Lounge here in Richardson, Texas, where we always found. And of course, Jerry Morris is producing for us, as always. Shout out to Jerry. Shout out to Jerry. Uh, this will be the last time probably that we dwell on this too much, but uh, we had our last uh, memorial for Matt this weekend on Saturday night here at Calypso, and I have to sing the praises of my two co-hosts. Uh, we had, I mean, this place was packed. Yeah, there was a lot of people, and that was kind of heartwarming to see everybody Absolutely. come together. Absolutely, and it was cigar celebrate. people, it was normal, you know, just friends from the non-cigar world and Tony big Tony G stepped up to the plate and handled the bartending duties top-notch he, he I've seen him in action before that was the busiest I had seen you I, I know you've been busier but that was the busiest I had seen you and buddy you handled it it was like fun it was fun man I great. had a good time I had great. a good time I love you know Razzing people behind. We have a great. We have a great. Uh, it was. It was. Here. It, it was. We, it was great. Right and here. and I think really what uh, Faith did a great job. Faith was well, working that's my the job. To point out. And and uh, you know and you did a good job at directing and and you know I you know yeah I got, I, I got to play MC. That you, was fun. You were great, man. You were fun. great. So. Well, thank you. But I, I thought it was really cool because uh, like you said, a lot of people came out and yeah. it was just wonderful to see so many people. Out. It, it was, was nice to meet so many people. Yeah. Very interesting lovely people to just sit down and talk to. I didn't, I wasn't lonely the entire night. I was always talking to somebody. So, so. Yeah. Well, that's it, because I kept following you. Right <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just. just would not leave me alone. <laughs> I know, like, hey, what do you think no, of this? Hey, what do you think of that? It was <laughs> just <laughs> obvious, man. I mean, once again, it was just obvious that Matt touched a lot of lives. He did. He, he did. Really so, did. And he was a great guy. And this person sitting to my right, <laughs> yeah, that's my right. Please say left next time. I was I almost did, but uh, <laughs> she came in and just and I'm not being stereotypical, but she mentioned that she wanted to help clean up the place, mm -hmm. and she did a badass job. Faith, boom, good job, girl. This was, uh, and and you know, you guys did it for the love and the support of the of the store mm -hmm. of, of Matt and his wife Mary, and and you guys did great. And I want to thank both of you publicly on this public forum for the great job you guys did. Thank you so much. It was a blast. And <laughs> then uh, I got to play MC. That was fun. And he did well. Well, thank you. I didn't, wasn't good. expecting it, but I noticed that no one was really steering it. And I thought, I guess I better do this. Yeah. So I got up and did that. Shout out to our buddy Bryce. Yeah, and Bryce Woo! Frazier. Oh, uh, nice. Great. Uh, 
great acoustical set. Yeah. He's got a really great voice, and he doesn't even mind if I get up and sing with him every now and then. So that was, uh, but I know why he does that, because I make him sound better. Because yeah. after I sing, they go, man, get that Bryce guy back up there, you know. <laughs> but, uh, no, I sing okay. It was fun. He sings great, guys. Well, thank you. It was fun. Uh, but uh, just a great, great night all together. Next time I want to hear you do Wagon Wheel. Since you got the various <laughs> voice, you know. So. You know what I like that don't think I don't think about it. Sorry, but that's my only Darius Rucker country song I really like. You know that one? Mm -hmm. No, of course not. I, I wouldn't sing it to you, but then again, you know, y'all didn't pay me, so I'm not going to. But uh, anyway, but thank you to everyone who was involved on Saturday night. That was that was a lot of fun. And Jerry made Jerry uh, uh, made uh, uh, like oh, he made his famous queso. Yeah, yeah. like queso stuff. But that was awesome. So yeah. Jerry, Jerry showed up in force, and Jerry was working the crowd also. And I saw Jerry helping out behind the bar, and, uh, uh, you know, helping people. And 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 Jerry was like uh, like showing people stuff. And so Jerry was here working too, man. So absolutely, got a shout out to Jerry. And yeah. that cheese, man, it's hot. But it's like worth the pain. So like two bowls in, I'm like maybe ah. it really shouldn't should stop. But so, man, it's that good. was after after eating that cheese was when I had to quit following you around. So, <laughs> yeah. Because you, uh, you know, yeah. I didn't want the. You know, mm -hmm. Anyway, so Jerry and, and Jerry, I, I don't know. We did know, get a picture of you cutting the cheese, so we didn't want that to actually Honestly, happen. I don't know what happened to your first Aladino, Jerry, but your second one, yeah, I did hide it on you, but then I did, I did, I did show <laughs> it. I was kind of, but I was kind of happy. And, and special you. thanks to uh, Brandon Luna of Nat Sherman, uh, Paul Costo from Oliva, uh, Jason Poehler from my father, Tom Poehler from Aladino. Uh, I'm missing Eddie Gavito from Altidus. Uh -huh. he, uh, ever, and if I missed you, I forgot. Kale uh, Martin Altidus. showed Kale, up. Kale Martin. Uh, I was talking about the reps, but Kale does own a store down the street. That was nice for him to show up. Uh, but uh, thank you for the reps that came in. They donated their time, their cigars, for uh, for the event, and it was great. Big Tony from Sunday, Marrero showed up. Sun, who's that? Big Tony from Marrero showed yeah, up. Yeah, that Tony guy, he's, he's a yeah. weird guy. I don't know. I don't know about him. So that's, we, that's why we stuck you behind the bar. There you go. <laughs> now, Sunday was a totally different story. Yep. <laughs> Sunday was the boringest Super Bowl of my entire life. And I'll even go so far as to say that might be the most boring game I've ever seen in all of NFL. Yeah. Uh, all of my NFL watching experience. <sighs> and for it to be the biggest game of the year and it to be that boring, I mean, uh that was. <laughs> it was terrible. It was, and yeah. and I don't watch a lot of football, but I have been lately just be hanging around here at the lounge, and y'all always playing games, and now I'm starting to get the hang of watching football. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I I was falling asleep in my chair. I know. Faith and I were texting each other just to keep awake. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we you were know? like picking at each other, going back and forth. Yeah. yeah. And that was the most fun of the whole day was because yeah. that game was terrible. And, you know, the Saints got hosed to begin with. It should have been the Saints and the Patriots, but that's neither here nor there. You know, and you're hearing these conspiracy theories that the NFL wanted it to be coast to coast. They wanted it to be Boston and L.A. You know, they'd get a bigger audience and that sort of thing. But, you know, I think the game itself discounted that but, uh, conspiracy theory because... Why wouldn't they have made it a better game if they had that much control? Because that game was just awful. What did you do for the Super Bowl, Tony? Uh, I went around to a few places. Uh, I, I uh, went to go uh, uh, see uh, see it at a place called Buena Brasa that I've got an event coming up at. And then I hit a couple more shops in the area. I went out to uh, Fort Worth and hit a couple shops. And uh, so I kind of just made a little tour, you know, just kind of. So did my hellos, but uh, I was at Buena Brasa for the for the bulk of it, and I was just really disappointed. And in the in the wake of it, you know, when we're talking more about the guy take, you know, Adam Levine taking his shirt off than the game and the stats, yeah, we got a problem, yeah. you know, with the game. And uh, it seemed like that was the big story, the halftime show. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. I know that lately, as of, you know, it seems like within the past five years, 
you know, the halftime show has really taken center stage. And that's all fine and good because we're living in this online age now. But this was just not a game. This was just bad. And I'm going to tell you what I reckon this this back to. When the Cowboys uh, beat the Steelers in Arizona for yeah. the Super Bowl. It was just kind of like... Uh, it was a, it was an oh, it, that was like an okay win. They had it secured in hand, and it was just kind of like, yeah, you know, at the end of it, you could even tell they weren't really even too, like, excited okay, about that the win. Game, but, that game had forty four points. For yeah, I, I, I get it. I, I get it. But they, it, it was well in hand. Yeah, like at the end of the game, they had it. They knew it well, was secure. well in hand because yeah. Neil O'Donnell threw exactly. the ball right into Larry exactly. Brown's hands. That's what so happened. yeah, and, and Larry Brown, uh, Larry Brown ended up getting MVP, mm-hmm. and he went to the Raiders, and you never heard from him again. Right. You know, he got in Al Davis's doghouse, and ended up pretty much really sealing his career. Yeah. So now, but with this game, it was just non-existent, man. Yeah. It was just, I mean. Uh, it was bad. I mean, it was just like God. This thing never got started. Well, not to not to upset anybody, and we'll let you chime in, Faith. I'm sorry. We appreciate you joining right. our show since uh, <laughs> you know we're not letting you talk. But uh, I'm in the camp of uh, I'm not a Patriots fan. I'm sick of Brady. I'm sick of Belichick. I'm ready for that to all go away. But this is how bad that game was. I didn't even care if the Patriots won. I was like, fine, let them win. Let's just get this thing over with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, whereas opposed to usually when the Patriots win the Super Bowl, I'm depressed for a week. This time, I didn't really care. It's like, give it to them. Yeah. Let's just call the game right now and give it to them just so yeah. we can go home. This yeah, like, ridiculous. just, you know what? Get it over with. Let them have their freaking uh, Super Bowls. You know, give them his six rings. Yeah. I wonder how you many know. people left the Super Bowl after the halftime. I, I would know. not I mean, be surprised. I, would I, I mean, I wouldn't doubt it if some of them left and started heading to the Super Bowl parties because that's what they all do. They all yeah. go, you know. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, the Super Bowl tickets are really not your common football game ticket. Your Super Bowl tickets no, are really a lot of corporate packages, a lot of, uh, you know, corporations buy those, uh, you know, uh, bundles and they send their, you know, their clients. They send, you know, so a lot of it's just like promo uh, I don't know. I would like to. I'd be interested to see the breakdown in just how many p- tickets are sold to just individuals. Like, hey, come on, Dad, let's go to the I've game. I've seen or, that stat before, and it's it's around twenty five to thirty percent for actual fans. Yeah. Wow. You know, the and then the rest of it's game. sold to companies. Yeah. Like you know, yeah. you got to close a business deal. You know, hey, I want your business. Come to the Super Bowl. I go to there. The you Super go. Bowl yeah, game. like that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and that's fine. I mean, it has its place. But, yeah. you know. It to be honest, be I would not want to go to the Super Bowl. No, I wouldn't either. Uh, I just really have no interest. I don't really. I love to go to baseball games. I do not like to go to football games. I'd much rather watch it on TV and see the. Yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of going to football games. You know, you park, you, go, you walk all that distance, you know. The food's outrageous price wise. So mm-hmm. I don't care. Ball Truth be told, still, a ball game you can still have a beer and a hot. A baseball game you can still have a beer and a hot dog yeah. for ten, twelve bucks and watch a game and it's fine. Yeah, and truth be told, I'll, I'll go to a Rough Rider game before I go to a Ranger game. You know. Yeah. I mean, well, that's just you know, that's just my. I opinion. can't. You know, once you've hit the high part, you can't go back and uh, play amongst the lowly crowd. Yeah, the only I time I went to a well, yeah, I know game, you, I, you're, you're, you're I know, upper so echelon, high, so but, high time, yeah, you know, know, but I'm sorry, you know, I, I, I didn't mean maybe to. Maybe one day you, you two will get there, you never know. Yeah, but I, the only time I went to a Rough Riders game, I threw out the first pitch at the game, so it's kind of like, if I'm not going to get treated like that, I don't well, want to go again. Man. No. <laughs> you're Randy Rankin, bud, you're double That's R, right. man, you know. Double R, buddy, threw out the first pitch at a double A ba- minor league baseball game, <laughs> whoopee. All right, well, we're going to close out the first segment. And as we've mentioned, that's mostly just for us. You guys have no idea because it's seamless for you guys. But uh, we're going to close it out. We're going to come back. We're going to mix a little bit more with what we just talked about. And then uh, we have another Super Bowl cigar tie-in as to what happened after the game. So after the game, what did you do? Did you just go home and want to kill yourself because you were so bored? Or, yes, yeah. uh, I, I went home, and, and you know what? This place was like almost dead. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we were like 
they were like scoring the last point and we were all holding our bags like Okay, they won. Bye. <laughs> well, that's exactly what I happened. I thought that was hysterical. We us. were. I mean, I had my jacket on. I had yeah. my bag. Yeah, there was like three or four of us left in here, um, and we were like watching the last like two seconds of the game, and we were like, okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> we were ready. So I, me and my, my Ramsey, my boyfriend, we went straight Your home. Ramsey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, my boyfriend, we went straight home, and I was out like a light. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I was almost out like a light during the during the game. I know. Did you see Faith's Facebook post? I thought that was hilarious. I saw so, uh, something. Well, what did you... Faith and I are big fans of The Office. I don't know if you liked The Office. Oh, I, yeah. I watch it. I watched the movie. Uh, Andy, yeah. from, who was uh, Ed Helms, you know, his character. Yeah. He's got this look in his face, kind of like... Oh, I did like, see uh, that. Yeah, that. Yeah, I did see when that. When you go to a yeah. Super Bowl party and all you want is the food and they're talking about yeah, the Super I did Bowl, see that, that was hilarious. I did see that. That especially was, with that that was game, funny. Especially with that game. Yeah, Joey, we, we've already segued into the second half. So, uh, so we're, uh, uh, <laughs> that was great. Yeah. That was fun. I'll post that on our uh, new Facebook page. By the way, we have a new Facebook yes, page. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> it's called The Cigar Show on Facebook. Faith Cigar Show, by the way. Yeah, so. I noticed her name came first. Yeah, I guess Faith she Cigar Show. And Faith is like uh, all in her glory <laughs> with her, you know. So. You know what? Faith Cigar Show. That picture is badass, though. Sure. Every time I look at that picture, I go, that's really great. Yeah. That's yeah. Really, just, uh, really great, that picture. We're just the two lowly guys that show yeah, it. Yeah, It's her world. She just allows hey, us in it. Hey, face the it. aficionado here. Right. So, you know. yes. Okay, so after the game, Robert Kraft, the owner of the New England Patriots, who now has six rings. Boy, that makes me mad. But anyway, never, nevertheless, uh, he handed out 50-year-old Padron cigars. 20. Huh? 20. You said they were, 50 and I thought 50 they were 20. 50, 50, 50 anniversary. 50 that had been, that that were, year old. Were, yeah, okay. so they were aged for 20. Just shoot me. No. So, <laughs> anyway, the 50th anniversary cigar. And, uh, but you didn't call him Patron though. You called him Patron. You didn't call him Padron. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear the audio. Yeah, but I, just I heard saw that. Them. Or maybe it's just my ear, but I heard Patron, which is tequila, not which, which really kills me every time uh, somebody says yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so you wanted to ask us a question about this 50-year-old. So I, 50 I'm just, an, 50th uh, anniversary. I remember, uh, I remember my experience in smoking this cigar. I smoked one one time. Yeah. Uh, it was when I was uh, working over at uh, Renegade Cigar Lounge. Uh, shout out to Brandon Hayes. Uh, anyway, um, I, uh, I actually was gifted that cigar by my good friend, uh, Richie Simmons. <laughs> that's who I got mine from. <laughs> so it's so funny, man, because that's so funny. That's an odd coincidence. Yeah. Is, yeah. What happened was uh, the guys were all getting together on a Sunday afternoon, and they were going to smoke because it was the big promo when that humidor came out. And it was at all the shops a few uh, years ago. And... Uh, all the shops had them, and they had the promo going. Anyway, everybody was buying one, and, and uh, I guess Richie had noticed I didn't buy one, and everybody was going to show up on a well, Sunday. You didn't, you didn't want to take out a second mortgage to well, buy a cigar, right? Well, that's true, and this was when they were 100 bucks. Yeah. They were going for 100 bucks to yeah. stick. Now, Sundays were my day off at Renegade. That was my thing. I just did not like working Sundays. So, Richie... Uh, it wasn't that I didn't want to participate, but Richie uh, Richie walks up to me one day and says, Hey, man, uh, hey, you know, we're all getting together Sunday, man, and, you know, we're going to smoke the Padrones, and hey, look, buddy, uh, I want you to be there, and so here, this is for you. And he so graciously bought me a 50 He is, he is a, and Richie a Simmons, sweetheart of a guy. Richie He's Simmons a is one top-notch guy, Absolutely. and he is just... Shout One out of those, to Richie. Shout out to Richie Simmons, man. If you know Richie Simmons, then you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. He is a guy that will give you the shirt off his back. Yeah. So anyway, we got it. To, we, now, one of the things I noticed about this cigar, it was a strong cigar. It was the only cigar I smoked that day. The construction of it was perfect. Now, I'm not a Padron guy. I don't knock them. I don't go out of my way to smoke them. But it, they're good cigars. They're good cigars. I, I, uh, I recommend them in the humidor from time to time if that's if I know that that's what the customer is looking for. 
But one of the things I did notice, it burned perfectly. It was a great cigar. The construction of it was wonderful. Yeah. Uh, it was a wonderful cigar. I smoked no other cigar that day because it was so strong. I went home and that was it. I was done for the day. So that's my recommendation on it. But what I did with that band was I kept that band. And, the, and what I did was I took other Padron bands and I mod podged a glass uh, ashtray and I put that one in the center and I made an ashtray mod podge and I gave that ashtray to Richie later that year for oh, Christmas. That's cool. Aww, that's cool. So yeah, it was kind of my, you know, and Richie was like so moved by it. So yeah, that was a really cool story. So that's awesome. That's my 50th that's anniversary for Drone Store. Well, my story, just the, 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 since it's ironic that it was the same dad that gave us the cigar. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother passed away in uh, November of 15. And uh, Richie, uh, I was over at I was repping at the time and I was over at Renegade game and uh, Richie found out about my brother and he, I said, well come sit down and talk to me and he said he couldn't and the next thing I looked up he was gone. So I was like, anybody seen Richie? What happened to Richie? And Brandon came over and gave me, he said, Richie wanted you to have this. Aww. And it was that 50th yeah. anniversary and, uh, and that's just the kind of guy he is. He's yeah. a really yeah. good guy. Exactly. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so special shout out to him. And but the palettes being different, I didn't find that cigar strong. I thought it was just as as I find every Padron a very well constructed, well blended cigar, medium to slightly medium full. I've, I've never had a strong strong yeah. Padron in my life. To me, yeah. Uh, but it was tasty, don't get me wrong. Yeah, oh, you know, man, it's, yeah, it's, it's, tasty. A, it's a great cigar. It's, it really is a great cigar. Uh, but that is ironic that it would be the same guy that gave us our cigar. So <laughs> Faith has had one, and where did you get yours from? I actually have not smoked it yet. Okay. Because I'm saving it for a special education, or a special occasion. Not special education. <laughs> Oops. Okay, right. But <laughs> you're going you're going to school, so yeah. you know, when and she went to special well, ed, right? No. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, actually I am we are learning about that in class right I now. Know, I know. Which is why I said that. But anyway, um, I'm saving it for a special occasion because I have heard that this was a very well received cigar. It was a very good cigar and it's valuable. It was actually gifted to me by Casey Rivera, which is my <laughs> my Ramsey Ramsey's brother. My boyfriend's brother, uh, very sweet guy. They, they're actually the ones that got me into cigars in the first place when I first met Ramsey and his brothers and was hanging out with all of them and I was really getting into it and I decided, man, I really love cigars. And Casey, man, he's a very serious enthusiast about cigars. He's got massive uh, humidors. Uh, yeah, I humidor. met him the other yeah. day. He, yeah, he, I met him too, very, very nice guy. Very yeah. nice guy, but he also, uh, I was impressed with his cigar knowledge. Yeah, he is very knowledgeable about cigars. He wasn't cigars. a poser. He was, he's an actual oh, guy yeah. that knows what yeah, he's talking about. Yeah, he is. And he's very serious about cigars. Yeah. Um, and he knows his stuff. And he told me about this. He's like, yeah, save this. It's this very special one. Save it for a special occasion or when you want to impress somebody. <laughs> you're um, saying for the whole show, Jerry? Is that what you're saying? Okay. okay. Well, we're wrapping up soon. But anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm, I've saved, I'm saving it, uh, haven't had it yet, and I'm happy to hear it's so delicious. Well, yeah, you have looking to try it. To it. You have to try it. I would yeah. say smoke it during the Super Bowl, but that would have been all no. I cared about. Yeah. <laughs> no, so, I don't know what I Yeah, don't what, waste it on that. Jeez. I might smoke it when I graduate with my bachelor. There you go. There you go. There you go. So is your bachelor going to be your Ramsey? Your bachelor and Ramsey? Yeah. Isn't he a bachelor? Uh -huh. yeah. Anyway, oh, a little bad. house cleaning as we're going to wind up this episode. First of all, thank you guys. Uh, our, our views continue to go up. We yeah, appreciate thank that. Thank you guys. That's awesome. And uh, if you will uh, uh, <clears throat> comment on YouTube or on our Facebook page with topics or whatever, we will answer them as best as possible. And we'll work him into the show and yeah. Faith and I have been chatting all week with a gentleman up in the New York area off of YouTube yeah. Adam W so shout out to Adam appreciate you listening tell your friends everybody 
and we and, will. Uh, and I will link the description to the YouTube uh, to the YouTube show, the Facebook page uh, in the description if you want to go check that out. We'll be posting sounds, a few things. Sounds good. I've got uh, some things going on. Uh, you go to my Facebook page, Tony Gomez, uh, Marrero Scars. Uh, I've got some events coming up that I'd like to uh, just uh, have everybody cue in on. So you can go to my Facebook page, Tony Gomez, and check it out. And we have a huge pipe special going on for the month of February here at Calypso. We have uh, big Yay. discounts across the board on our pipes. We've never done a pipe special. We want to try one see how it goes. So we're at 1002 North Central Expressway in Richardson, Texas. And uh, we'd love to see you. And come by and take advantage of the, those specials because you can really save some money on those. Anyway, thank you for joining us. And for Big Tony Gomez, for the lovely Faith Cox, and for me, Randy Rankin, and the great Jerry Morris. We'll see you next week. Just smoke it, baby.